bringing good taste to life. We chat with Derek Record, president and CEO of Grace Foods USA. what we do because if our families don't like it, we're not going to introduce it. Jamaican singing sensation, Mr. Bertus, live here in Portmore. You see that flavor, you see that juice, you see how flavorful that looks. Misa Shrimp from renowned celebrity oh, chef Miso Patrick Blaze Simpson on Blaze this week's In Adi Kitchen. It goes well with seafood. What's your favorite Grace product? We find out on Street Buzz New York. You can't put it by anything, you jerk. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. One of the Caribbean's largest and most dynamic food and finance corporate entities, Grace Kennedy started in Jamaica in 1922 and comprises of companies in the Caribbean, North and Central America, the United Kingdom, and Africa. Since its beginnings in 1922, Grace Kennedy has provided authentic Caribbean food products to generations of Caribbean people earning and still deserving the name Grace, the Good Food People. Grace Kennedy was founded in 1922 and we have been a part of the lives of Caribbean people and Jamaicans in particular for the last 90 odd years. So we have been serving um, wonderful food um, to Jamaicans and we have followed them across the world really. So one way for us to kind of keep in touch and to be part of the community is to stage events like this. So that has been what Grace Kennedy has been about, but it actually has been a very caring company. So we have spent a lot of time um, thinking about not just how we produce and distribute products that are quality, but also how we give back to the community. And it's a constant part of what we do. Where can people find on the Grace products here in the US? Well, in the U.S., you can find it in almost any independent stores in, in, anywhere around um, the major um, cities. But you can also find it in chains like uh, Walmart or you could go to a stop and shop, ShopRite, Publix in, um, in Florida um, or Winn-Dixie. If people here in the U.S. are anywhere, especially the Caribbean people, when they purchase the Grace product, how does it help the Jamaican economy? Well, we're very much integrated. I mean, we have um, just about six factories in Jamaica and we have multiple um, smaller manufacturers who do contract packing for us. Um, so everything that, everything that we do, there's an element that creates employment um, for Jamaicans um, at home. And um, in fact, I'll tell you, so we also create employment for Jamaicans outside of, um, outside of Jamaica as well. So we are very much integrated and of course this being one of Jamaica's only multinationals it means that the profits and all the income from what we do overseas go back home and is actually filtered back into the economy of Jamaica. Taste the flavor, feel a beat. Is that one of the greatest new, new slogans? It is. I mean we have been doing a program with Ding Dog and I mean that has really been well received. Um, and I think that we remain very hip and very trendy. But at the core still, you know, is Grace a good food people we care. So we haven't lost that one either. Right. But um, certainly as we, as we look um, to introduce new products and to be, part, to be part of the modern life of Jamaicans, um, there are different things that we adopt from time to time. I think it's very important for people to continue to taste the flavor. Yeah. And, um, because it's a wonderful flavor that we have um, from Jamaica. Why Grace chose Ding Dong as, as, as an, a, a, a dancehall artist to, to, to promote Grace? Well, dancehall is no mainstream, you know. All right, and what we really want to do is work with artists as well that, are, that keep their message clean and, um, you know, kind of free from some of the controversies, but are at the same time are very relevant to um, the average Jamaican. And I think he actually fit that bill very well. So we became very, very comfortable with the package um, and the person. Grace Kennedy, food. USA, yes. right. How oh, the future look? You know, what, where you want to take it? I should ask you. Where you want to take the company? Well, the company is going on a journey right now of expansion. I mean, we we know are in a situation where not only are we serving the Jamaican community and the Caribbean, the Anglo-Caribbean community, but we have also expanded our offering to include a significant piece of our business that is Hispanic. That has been 
a, a big part of the growth of our business in the last four years. Uh, what we're seeing going forward is that we'll also find more and more products that will move right into the mainstream of America as well. So when you walk into certain places, you'll be seeing some Grace products that you can actually be to dress and say, boy, yes, this is, this is love. This is real love. And we have taken the love to other people. Is there anything else you want uh, the audience to know about, about Grace at this moment? Well, I'll tell you that we have a, a few really new products out there right now. Um, we, you, if you're in the stores right now, you should be looking out for things like our PET coconut water, which is much more portable. Um, you should also be seeing things like um, our parties. We're going to have a party eating contest on stage recent, I mean, in, in, in short order. Okay. I mean, the Grace parties have been doing phenomenally well. And I think that as you look through the stores, what we're offering is a, is a taste of Jamaica in those offerings. Because let's face it, no product can be introduced yes. unless we like it as Jamaicans. And that is why we are so different and so successful yes. in what we do. Because if our families don't like it, we're not going to introduce it. Yes. We have to love it first. Yes, man. Absolutely. Big singer. You want me to talk Mr. Bertus, man. You can't hurt us. My brother. What's going on? One love and unity, you know. We're there alive. Straight up more with it. You understand yeah. what I mean? We are globalized this right around the world right now. Just check us out. Don't talk. wreck us out. Seen? Mad. A real talk, man, brother. So all the thing I go on, my brother. As a matter of fact, you see the people who don't know, one, for the one and two people them where they are in New York, who maybe say, you know, I don't remember, I don't know who is Mr. Bertus. I don't know who is Mr. Bertus. Well, Mr. Bertus is a black entertainer ready to uplift society, you know. Mr. Bertus is a lover's rock singer. And Mr. Yeah. Lover's rock, authentic music where uplift people. You understand what I mean? So, when you talk about Mr. Bertus, you talk about a songwriter. You understand yeah. what I mean? I you to arrange music to a different level. I you to love music with a passion. I you to deal with music that people feel comfortable with. So when they hear Bertus, and we say don't hurt us, we keep it positive and focused. I know so recently, you just come back off a tour from Canada. Yeah, How the run there was, man? Well, I can tell you, say, I one of the most tremendous moves I've ever made in my life. Because trust me, I get to do some things that I never yet understand in music. You understand what I mean? It's like it's a whole learning process. You understand for market yourself on a different level. Because yeah. I tell you, you know, the more you grow, the more you learn. And music is a thing it now on a boundary. So as you can tell it, hunger can't get better, it can't get worse. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. we put God first in everything and everything go the right way. The big music video scene, My Diary. Yeah. Where you come up with a concept there? What is it all about? Well, music, I'm telling you, music is a natural thing, you know. Sometimes some things we experience in our life, you have to put it on paper and just share it out to the world. Because when you can put out something where you experience, people will feel it more. You understand what I mean? Sure. Sure. So it's all about writing something about your personal life. People are going to like it. Yeah. You understand? Girl, my love for you is stronger each night. It's all in my letters. Rrr, big tune, big video. Check it out. So all the 2018 you look and thing. Well, it's a 2018, you know, when I eat in you know, a straight love, you know. We just want the youth them to get them things together and keep it real. Cool off of the crime and the violence. Yeah. Because trust me, it's not good for the society. It's not a medicine we really want to upstain our body right now. We really want the youth them to deal with love and a deal with more positiveness. It's a 2018. I really want to see a change. I really want it to get worse. I want to see it get better. So, I just tell the youth themselves to keep it real. You understand what I mean? Just keep it real. Because at the end of the day, we don't want to see a man clean or steal. You understand what I mean? Why everybody eat a meal? You understand what I mean? Just like that. Just like that, man. You don't know. Mr. Bertus, there, Jamaica with there, come chat with me. Jamaica. We think up. Chat we don't play with the thing. Just chat, you know. When we say chat, we mean non stop chat. C-I-N, tell a friend, a friend, a friend, and a friend. We keep on watching it again and again and again. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yeah, welcome to our next episode of In the Kitchen with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson. We don't know the thing already, man. You see? Uh, chef, what are going on? Everything turn up, man. Everything turn up. I hope good things are going right there. So, can I tell you something? I have a bad meal when I go prepare today. I yeah. do a miso shrimp. Yeah. Totally different. I change up the game. In the kitchen. kitchen. All right, guys, so you don't know already. Every week, I'm gonna come with something totally different. And I like to change things up. So this week, I'm doing a miso shrimp. And one of the things I like about the way I cook, I wanna make it easy so you can do it at home and you can follow along. Because you know what? It's not every day we want the curry chicken, the oxtail, the rice and peas, all of that. Sometimes you wanna change it up a little bit. So I'm doing a miso shrimp. And see my ingredients over here? Real simple. My ingredients is, I have some nice 16, 20 shrimp. I'm going with my red bell pepper, my green bell pepper, my onion. Miso is something that you can find in any one of your seafood, anywhere you buy your seafood, your salmon, your fish. Miso glaze or the miso paste is something that they have. It goes well with seafood, your lobster, your shrimp, your scallop. Anytime you're making a seafood, just ask for some miso, put it together, use it for your sauce. I have the miso sauce here already. I have some fresh thyme, some obey, garlic powder, I have some black pepper and I have a little bit of salt and some capers. So I'm gonna start putting this together real easy now. A little bit of black pepper. And I also too, main ingredients that I'm gonna use for my pepper, I'm gonna go with my Walker's Wood Jerk Season just to give it that extra little twist of flavor. That's kind of what I'm gonna go for. Just to give it that extra flavor and that little bit of kick. Simple and easy. I'm gonna go for my, my Obey Seasoning. My Obey season, a little bit of salt, not too much. And I did put the pepper already, and I'm gonna go with some fresh thyme. Just wanna pick off the leaf of the thyme and put inside, real simple. And now for my capers, I'm gonna go for my capers. Capers is real good and it's real flavorful. It got a little bit of salty edge to it, which is real good. And also it tastes like vinegar because of the fact it marinate, it marinate inside the vinegar base but it's gonna give that seafood a nice little twist to it. I'm gonna go with a little bit of my teriyaki glaze over him, looking real good. All right, my hands are clean, so make sure your hands are clean too. I'm gonna marinate this up a little bit. I'm gonna go with my red bell pepper. And I'm gonna go now with my onion, my diced onion, looking real good. I'm also gonna go with the rest of my capers inside so I can burn out the flavor out of it. I'm gonna go with some butter. So, so the butter can help enhance the flavor as well. Real simple, real easy. And I'm gonna let this bad boy saute down a little bit. Then I'm gonna get my shrimp that I have already marinate and I'm gonna put my shrimp in. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, see how pretty that looks? I'm gonna flip that over a little bit. Nice. Turn over the shrimp. Then at some point, I'm gonna have my miso glaze. I just want my shrimp to cook a little bit more. Like I said, you don't need a lot of time to cook the shrimp, because as you know, seafood is something that cooks real easy. Cooks real easy, so you don't need a lot of time to cook it. Tricolor, cauliflower. And I'm also gonna go with some white kidney beans. I want my food to be healthy. As you know, I like eating healthy already, so that's what I'm shooting for. And I'm gonna go, go with some spinach. All right, now with my miso glaze. Beautiful. My veg is looking good. So I got my veg going on here and from the bean, I got my starch going on. All right guys, so we're going right into plating right now. And like I said, I like my food to be healthy. So right here, you have your veg going on right here. 
and you also have your starch going on with the bean. Look at that, look how pretty that bad boy look. Look how pretty that is. That's what I'm talking about. All right, put my shrimp right there. You see that flavor, you see that juice? You see how flavorful that looks? Oh. See? See, I am not ready for this yet, man. You guys are not ready for this. This is a different kind of cooking. So this week, miso shrimp, and it's served over tricolor, cauliflower, and white beans. Stay tuned and keep it locked because you're gonna be in for a treat. Next time I see you, where? In Eddie Kitchen. Keep it locked. Inside of Queens, I wanna find out what is your favorite grease product. What's the name again, sweet? My name is Kay Jones. All right, Kay Jones, my question is, what is your favorite grease product? You know they used to call it dirty girl, right? Yeah, it's called oh. mackerel. I love mackerel with two dumplings. I understand. And banana and all them look at something, something there. It's yeah. a grace mackerel. Grace mackerel. Big up on yourself. All right. Thank you very much for your feedback. See? Grace mackerel. So keep it locked. Big Street Boys, the thing name. What's your name? Evelyn Ruddock. Oh, Evelyn, where are you from? I'm from Jamaica. We're in Jamaica. I'm from the Ruddock's oh. Roots from Westmoreland. Oh, that's cool. that's cool. That's cool. That's where my family is, is from also. My parents. Green Chill. All right, my question to you today, what is your favorite grease product? You know, the coconut milk, mm. the seasoning, it's really hard to name it, so I just say everything. All of them. All of them are yeah, grease. Yeah, say all of them. All of them are grease. All of them are grease. You can't go wrong. The jerk uh, sauce. Mm. The jerk sauce, and what you love about it? it it's a very good seasoning and I can't cook without it. I put it in everything that I'm cooking and it just turned up. Good evening, what's the name of me? Donna. Okay, where are you from? I'm Jamaica. Oh, you're Jamaican. Where, where in Jamaica are you? Are? Kingston. Me a Kingston, me a Kingston thing, you know, you know that. Kingston. Yes, all of them say, everybody all of them come from Kingston, but we are really Kingstonian. Yes, yes, I am Kingstonian. All right, nice. My question is, what is your favorite grace product? Uh, it's the, the syrup. The syrup? Cold flavor cola champagne. It's the best I've ever tasted. Hello, what's your name? Rochelle Boone from Spectrum News, New York One. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Where were you born, what may I ask? Yard. See it there, yeah, that's how we love it, we love hearing it. All right, my question is, what is your favorite grace product? It will have to be the jerk sauce, the jerk seasoning, the hot flavor, no mild. The hot one. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. That will win the competition with today. So you're also a winner for today? Yeah, I was in the celebrity cook-off, really? fire challenge. Yeah. Really? Let's talk about that, what did you cook? I cook uh, jerk salmon and vegetables. They thought they were going to throw a curveball and put in some eggplant and I yeah. me, me look for okra, they might throw in chocho, <laughs> good fish, but that's okay. Yeah, still mash it up. Still. Yeah man, yeah. I would call my dish mash it down. So you call it? <laughs> yeah. Mash it down, not up, mash it down, <laughs> for real man. Right, tell us a little bit more, more about yourself as a reporter and all of that, that nice stuff. Alright, so I've been at New York One News now about 16 years, but I was born and raised in Jamaica, went to Holy Childhood School in Halfway Tree. And then moved here with my family, like many immigrants, and went to college here in the city, went to Baruch College. That's how I tell them people, go to them expensive college, man. You still do all right. Right, right. <laughs> and that's my journey here, and I've been on TV for about 16 years now, and it's been fantastic, you know? I can only imagine. Because I'm a new boy, I'm young to this, and I'm new to this. <laughs> I'm just like one year right now, you know? So give me some little tips, you know, what to expect in, in this type of um, hosting business, since I'm a new guy coming into the team. Well, you have, you have it done, you know, because you have a lot of personality. Right. That's so the that's biggest one, thing. One, a lot one. of people think you just get up here and talk, but yeah. it's a skill. Yeah. And you have that skill already. Thank you you know what I mean? And for like many people in this business and other business, just prepare for a lot of no's. Right. But you know it's a yes in your heart. Yes. So you just keep going. They always tell me I didn't look like the kind of person who could be on TV. But to this, but to that. Yeah. But I'm not watching the face, right? Okay. I just do what I need to do and here I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, Street Boys New York. What there, man? What's the name of Virgin? What's the name? Anthony. Where are you from, Anthony? You're yeah, Jamaican. My mother is. Yeah. My father Vincent. Yeah. And I'm born in London. Yeah. Alright. Alright, London. London is in the house, okay? Yeah. 
yeah. All right, my brother. I've been here. I've been in America for a while too, so. All right, my question. What is your favorite Grace product? Oh my God. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Name up to all of them. Yeah, I like, I like the mango one, spicy mango, mild mango one, and regular drug, you know, flavor. My message about a lot of special Grace products. I don't know, but she know more than me. She not here. Cause she gonna have a fest, have a party down there. Awesome. So I can soak her, uh, reggae, Trinidad, girlfriends of Trinidad. So, right. Enough thanks and respect for your feedback, man. See? You don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You do it, man. Straight buzz. Chef Chai, what are you going, brother? What are you going, Ziggy? Everything good? Everything good, man. What are you man? And we ask a question today, you know. What is your favorite grace product? Well, my favorite grace product, without a doubt, are the jerk rub. Can mm. you see the grace jerk rub? You can't put it by anything you jerk. And you know, like how I do vegan and vegetarian stuff, some would have some jerk cauliflower or some jerk tofu and things, and it tastes good. I love, I love the jerk rub. That mother's are my fault. A real thing, man. You hear it, see? That's what the man say. Keep it locked. Straight Buzz New York. We're there. For the past eight years, Golden Cross franchisee Jeffrey Reed and his wife Cecile have awarded scholarships to the top 10 students at Denham Town Primary School's annual graduation ceremony. This year, in honor of Golden Cross founder, the late Dr. Lowell Arthurns, commitment to education, Mr. Reed and his wife have decided to name the scholarship awarded to the top student of the graduating class after Mr. Arthurn, Mr. Reed alongside Mr. Arthurn's wife, Lorna Arthurn, son Omar Arthurn, and franchisees Stanley and Naveen Dennis. The scholarship was awarded to the top student who has a GPA of 96. This honor will be bestowed in Dr. Lowell Arthurn's name each year at the Town Primary School graduation. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. Huh. And this an on a play day. Girl, you know I'm in day. So tell me what you say, yeah. Again, 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 again. And this an on a play day. Girl, you know I'm in day. So tell me what you say, yeah. Bang, bang. I've been waiting for you, my lady. I'll be on my way to you soon. All through night till morning, don't leave. Simply Kells.